Hi, my name is Brian Hurt, and I'm going to walk us through a quick use case of using Campaign Manager where I want to create a new campaign that is targeted for a specific set of customers and products uh, with more aggressive settings than another campaign that I'm running. So in this use case, I have a regular campaign I'm running for recovery and growth, and uh, I want to be more uh, more aggressive in one of the regions where I know one of my competitors is weaker. And so uh, I'm going to create a new campaign to specifically target a set of products in, in that uh, region. I'm going to start by uh, creating a new campaign. I'm going to call it my offense campaign. And I'm going to scope this campaign by region. This dropdown gives me all the different uh, dimensions in my customer table. And I'm going to select region. And so uh, now I'm going to add a action type to go along with this campaign. So I'm going to add a, um, what we call the XS or a growth action. And I'm going to be aggressive here, so I'm just going to say minimum threshold of 50. So I've now added that growth action type to this campaign. Uh, it's scoped by region. Now I need to select what regions I want to uh, to apply it to. So I'm going to select this campaign. I need to run two actions. One will activate the campaign, and another one to populate my customer scope, and lastly a product scope as well. So these jobs are starting to finish. I'll close these out. I'll go into my customer scope. So now I can see it's it's populated a selection for me to select which regions to apply to this campaign. In this case, I'm just going to go uh, after the west. And I can even clean up the, um, the rest of the lines here just to keep this worksheet clean. On the product scope, I want to uh, do all my printer paper category. So I'm going to use an update feature here. Clear these out. I'm going to say set in scope where my product group contains paper. Great. So I've selected just the printer paper categories. I'll go and remove the rest of those lines as well. And um, I want to get more aggressive with this campaign. So uh, each campaign after it's activated gives me a number of thresholds I can set. So for my growth actions, I can specify what's the minimum um, minimum profile spend that I want to compare to, so I can get more aggressive here and lower this. And uh, and then what's the gap against the expected spend of the profile? Uh, I'll uh, start with a gap of uh, just 15 percent. So now I've got this campaign set up. It's activated. I've scoped it to a particular region. I'm going to run the campaign and see what I get from that. All right, with that uh, campaign run completed, I'm going to go to the Action Review tab. This is where I get to review the results of the campaign with the settings and the scope that I specified, uh, but before publishing it. So I haven't committed anything at this point. I can see I've got 619 uh, distinct actions. So those are customer product combinations. Uh, it addresses 206 customers. And um, you know, it, perhaps this isn't what I expected. Maybe this is actually too aggressive. So I would have the opportunity to go in change my thresholds. Maybe I'll pair this back a little bit. Change my threshold. I'll go back, select the same campaign, and uh, rerun it and see if I get uh, uh, slightly less aggressive results. So with that job completed, I'll go back to my review sheet. Here I've got slightly fewer actions since I uh, raised my thresholds a bit. Uh, I can see specifically the customers, the product groups that are targeted, uh, what the expected action impact is for uh, for growing accounts in these categories. If this looks good to me, then what I'll do is I'll go ahead and publish these actions. This is what's going to push the the campaign actions into the into my sales player environment. Uh, while I'll do that, I'll just point out some of the KPI cards across the top. I can see I've got uh, a number of new actions here. Some of these are updates. So just as part of that monthly uh, recovery and growth um, action campaign. You know, some of these same actions have already been published. And so one of the great features about Campaign Manager is the way that it just manages those for me. Uh, it does, it's not going to create a duplicate action. If, I've already, if I'm already uh, prompting an account to grow in this category, it's not going to create a new one from this campaign. It's simply updating the one that exists there so that I, I'm, I'm avoiding ever having duplicates in that case. So this message tells me that the publish is completed. So I'm going to go back here. I'll go back to the account page I was on. 
And uh, here I can immediately see that I've got new actions uh, published. So I have this monthly uh, campaign I've been running, my annual win back campaign, but I now have new actions for my uh, offensive in the West. And I can click on any of these and immediately see the, the profile that I'm comparing this account to, as well as the gap that's been identified that we want to go after. So this is just a simple example of how you can create a new campaign targeting a specific group of accounts and uh, immediately push that, those out for action by your sales team.